Out of our way, citizen. Hachua Punky, Jishawa, Anibun Kasha, Jonasi, Ichua, Pyongbo Johnny, Mina Mamba Tor, Mule Ra, Hakugri Kakota Parabola. Tanga book shot um not no Mokao Tanya Foki Chachiska do Punta Kakaspaka Bano Oto Kipuna Bona Nakichu Kin Ba Mule Radwana Don Kin Bano Kudnok Nek Kava Numpa Kum Pialia Monokata Ranga Kun Bis Kin no Moruat Kakin Chana Guanabrakon Kenchopa Chawi Tichok Twis Yun Kun Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek Bugra Shak Kunti Chiwa Mchawa Dong Abuk Shami No Nok Hakunchi Kopa Gino Mularak Kampiak Slim Jo Puan Wanduana Tong Abuk Sha Um Nak Nong Hachu a punky, Jishawa a nibung. Mok how dang ya. Tinku kapa, topa no aska, chi nisko na kava a baka.
Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Kipuna na bon sha. Kavadumpa kupaliaya moka pata. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek. Nikton Chun Chun ke Nemolek Rabest with Mala Nibo Kurk Mana Mana Tota Hakuji Krala Bolaji Chok Shuntang Shun Kipa Unapanka Muli Rikon Kili Kon Kili Noba Wati Munya Lakona Una Kun Muli Ra Bona Nakachu Kicha Badwang Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra ka kin chak nawa gawa pakon. Donk kiba nukunek, tanga buk sha um nag nong.
Yalamo in Kapun, Jiloba Mulira ni Bobo. Wongo kumbes kakang, pa mama Rulira. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the Dark Side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. <laughs>
What can I do? I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. 
I ran into someone the exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them. Well, the Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Ready. Welcome to the Slave Quarters, Master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing if you would come with me into the massage room at the back. Uh, not to interrupt your fun, but we do have to get underway. I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Thank you, kind sir. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? But 
What could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Eben Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. No problem. Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. Hey, baby, wait! I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Uh-uh. No way. You're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards if you live long enough for them to question you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. No problem. Got it. Garth, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. 
Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent, mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. Didn't work. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner or later. Look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Colonel. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. detonator will blow us all to bits.
Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in.
between. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Vassal? I'm sorry, Garth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chamber. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... it's... it's just gone. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a stamina-boosting stimulant to help you get tougher. There anything else you need? <laughs> Here's a st there anything Here's a there any Here there Here there Here there Here there Hey, are there Hey, don't worry. A real warrior knows his own limit. There any You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for forty of your years. 
For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. Ha! <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned... I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Oh, 